morning. Hiya. No kiss. Oh, come on, my breath don't smell that bad in the morning, does it? <laughs> Are you having second thoughts about last night? Of course not. Well, what's the problem, then? You worried about my mum. Why are you? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it quiet for a bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> she's not exactly happy about me being your best mate, so she's hardly going to be over the moon if she finds out I'm your new lesbian girlfriend. Morning, ladies. Sleep well? Yeah, thanks. Glad to hear it. Right, are we still on for shopping today? Oh, yeah, I couldn't close my eyes with the excitement. Well, you don't have to come if you don't want to. No, of course I want to come. Need to get my dad a welcome home present. Why are you come here? Eh? Help me choose from it. Well, I don't know him, do I? Um. Anyway, I've, I've got stuff to do. Gonna go and get a shower. I'll see you later. See you, though. Morning, Roy. Oh, good morning. Good to see you. Are you keeping busy? Uh, well, I'm most, so I'm told. So what can I get for you? Oh, I don't want anything to eat. Um, I just wondered if you got a minute. Only, I've been trying to think of ways to raise money for the charity, you know, in Hayley's memory. Uh, <clears throat> I've had a bit of a light bulb moment, and I wanted to get your opinion. Have you seen the film Calendar Girls? Uh, I, I'm not much of a film girl. Oh, you must. It's ever so good. It's all about these women who raise money by doing this calendar. And I thought maybe I could ask the factory girls if they fancy... What, what sort of uh, calendar? Well, it, it's it's pictures of them all posing. Posing? Yeah. I mean, the thing is... Oh, how can I put this? Um, well, they haven't got any clothes on, but it's really, really tastefully done. I mean, it's not as though you see them... Can, can, can I just stop you there a moment? I don't think a calendar of naked women, not to mention Sean and Kirk, would be right, tonally, or indeed, aesthetically. Mm. And you don't think it's a good idea? I'm afraid not. <laughs> OK. Well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know if I have any more brainwaves. Oh, do it. <sighs> Hiya. How are things? <sighs> About as bad as they can be. Oh. You know, Mum threw Marcus out. I heard. I know it's hard, but you've got to try and keep your pecker on. Oh, thanks, I will. Well, it's not me I'm worried about, it's him. It's, he's dossing on a mate's couch. Well, maybe I can have a word with your mum and see if she'll let him come back. Mm, thanks, but she won't. Oh, you know, there might be something you can help me with. Oh, whatever it is, yeah. it, tell me later, because I'm going to be late. Yeah, Julie, I'm... I'm sorry. <clears throat> right, I'm off. I'm trying not to steal or break anything when I'm gone. Didn't say out about arson. Very funny. Um, wait a sec. I just wanted to say thanks for not telling Sally about me and Sophie. I know you know. Yeah, well, be careful, cos Sally's not stupid, you know. So why didn't you grasp me up? Well, it wasn't because of your winning personality. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure your image would have taken a bit of a knock if she'd have known you were beaten up by a girl. Look, I don't need any grief right now, all right? What would you know who coming back? Still him and Sophie are busy mates, so you'll be all right. So she keeps telling me. Right, OK. I'm very sorry about that. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. You all right? Not you again. Miss you too. I haven't got time for this. I'm up to my neck. You need to come on, don't fight the inevitable. I'm a hard worker, a good mechanic, and I'll probably sort you out with a few wardrobe tips and all. And you're also a stubborn pain in the backside. I've also brought my CV references there. You just, just take a look at you. Right. Come to get me a van, you know, the one I brought in on Monday. I still haven't had a chance to look at it. Oh, I don't believe this. What sort of place are you running here? Do you know how much business I'm losing because of you? I'll get it done this afternoon. Yeah, well, I've heard that before at all. Why should I believe it this time? Now he's got me to help him. You know, right? Yeah. Look, I don't care who does it, I just want it fixed. You got that? Got it. Right. What's all that about? I was trying to save from losing business, so maybe getting a kick in. One week trial starting Monday, we'll see how it goes from there. Best decision you've ever made. Problems with my will be over. Yeah, I wish. It's unethical. It's, come on, man, it's not unethical. It's also cheap and nasty. You know what? Yeah, for once, man, you should try thinking outside the box. What box? The box, man, the box. <sighs> All right, let's get a more objective opinion, shall we? Stella, 
Can you help settle an argument, please? Uh, I doubt it, but I'll try. Yeah, but Dev doesn't want a drinking fountain in the gym. Why not? Because he thinks that he can make more money by charging people to buy bottled water while they're in there. Oh, that's a bit tight, Dev. Yeah, well, I said cheap and nasty, but we're obviously on the same wave. Mm. What well, doesn't make perfect business sense to me? Well, I wouldn't buy one. Oh, really? What, so you're saying that after an hour of, like, running and rowing and cycling and sweating and sweats just pouring off you, that you wouldn't be tempted by a beautiful, clear, ice-cold bottle of H2O from the vending machine? No, because I'd have brought my own. Stella, I owe you a drink. Yeah, well, as long as there's not water. Yeah. Oh, allow me. Oh, right. so how come you're having your lunch so early? My grandma wants to go to the dentist. She needs a filling something. Oh, you mean she's still got all her own teeth? Here we are. Mm. One chicken salad sandwich, yes. one ham and cheese. Oh, actually, it's ham and pickle. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll make you another. Oh, no, it's fine. Seriously. Uh, cheese, pickle, what's the difference? The difference is it's not what you would. It's too late now, Roy. <laughs> Seriously, don't worry about it. Very well, then. Thank you. Some of you. My mate just got back from Ibiza. All right, nice one. No, it ain't. They're in a boyfriend and a banging time. Clubbing, sunbathing, all the rest of it. Look, we've been through this, all right? We just can't afford it right now. I'm not on about us going away. What are you on about, then? It's just... We never seem to get any time together. We're together now. No, like, just the two of us. Oh. Well... It's hard, isn't it? What with two kids and us both working. Well, we just have to use our imaginations then, won't we? What do you mean? Finish that. Not hungry. What now? I am just concerned about you. That's all. You look tired. Oh. Well, if I can see it, so can Peter. Well, then I'll just keep on telling him I'm worried about George's funeral. <clears throat> worried he's not dead, more like. Yeah, well, there is that. <sighs> anyway, I've been thinking. Might come with you. We don't have to do that. Definitely knew him. Yeah, well, I'm not doing it for him, am I? Afternoon. What can I get you? I just want to look at your pretty face, but since I'm here, I might as well get a couple of cokes, but... <laughs> might have a joint, you. Put yourself out. I've got to get off after this. I've got a bit of DIY to be getting on with. Oh, what? Trying to get yourself in uh, Sally's good books, are you, before oh, Kevin gets back? Why would I give a monkeys about him? Him and Sally are history. Ah, yeah, but it's not that simple, is it? They've broken up and got back together loads of times. They're like, um... Hey, Dad, what's that famous old couple called that kept splitting up and getting married again? Burton and Taylor? That's the one, Burton and Taylor. Well, like Burton and Ernie, from what I've heard. All I'm saying is watch your back, pal. Yeah? Well, thanks for the advice. No. Yeah, keep the change. Oh, Carly, um, you give me 20. <laughs> I mean, even for you, 30 quid is a bit steep. Sorry, I won't, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Listen, um... Sarah, I hope you don't mind me asking, but are you okay? <laughs> I would be if people would just leave me alone. Amy. Sorry, I'm having a rough day. Yeah. Cheers, pal. Thanks for that. Prodigal mechanic. Welcome back, man. Oh, mm -hmm. How are you? Never mind me. How are you? Why are you not getting there? Yeah, well, it takes time. Yeah. So listen, I'm guessing you're looking for Sophie. Yep. Is she in? No. Yeah, it's a day off. In fact, I think she's gone off shopping in time with her mum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> yeah. Jack! This belong to you? Oh, I'll catch up with you later, yeah? Go forward to it. 
Oh, you. I'm free to. <laughs> no worries. Oh, welcome home, Kevin. Oh. Welcome home. Oh. <laughs> well, he's certainly changed. Yeah, well, you haven't. He's still as gorgeous as ever. <laughs> I wish I could say I felt it. Why? What's wrong? Oh, long story. Oh, I've got time. Now Sophie and Sally's decided to go shopping. <laughs> the day I come home. <laughs> How about a cup of tea and a catch-up? <sighs> Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> and we might find some sweeties for you. Come on. Oh. In here. Here we go. Come on. Flaming believe it. Are you all right? No. Some toad eggs nicked one of me bags. Oh. Do me a favour, Rita. Yeah. Look after Jack for me, please. Well, of course. Hey, you take care. Hey, how's it going? Three o'clock. I feel like I've done a full shift already. Uh, that's the point. Shouldn't you be picking up Simon? Uh, no, he's going to his mates for tea. Which one? Little lad called Tyson. <laughs> Sounds like a pit bull. Oh, no, he's a really nice kid. I think his parents are starting to regret the whole name thing. Because he sounds like a pit bull. No, because he's the smallest kid in his year. He hates sport and he wants to be an interior designer when he grows up. <laughs> oh, customer. That's all right, I'll get it. Hiya. Come to buy me that drink you owe me, have you? You'll be lucky. Why, what have I done? Siding with me against death. Well, I thought that's what you wanted. <laughs> anyway, he was wrong. Yeah, I know he was wrong, you know he was wrong, and probably he knows he was wrong. But you didn't have to listen to him banging on about how no one understands <laughs> me for the next three hours. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it me, Rita? Right? Your mum fled. What, we can? Oh, of course not. Just one mm. Could have fooled me. Yeah, well, so what if she's got well, a lot to her? Just, um, you know. See, this is an orange one. Thank you. There we go. Oh, any luck? Oh, nothing. Even went to the garage, see if Tyrone's on, seen anyone hanging about, but it's close. Must be out on a job or something. Do you want me to phone police? Already have them. Said they'll be here in a bit. Ah. Uh, was there anything valuable in your bag? <sighs> Camera, iPod. Some of his sirs. It's going to be gutted when he finds out. I don't know what's wrong with people these days. Well, having said that, we have had something of a mini crime wave round here recently. What? What's happened? Well, um, a builder's van got broke into, huh? and then there were two burglaries at next street, and one at your Sally's, which I'm sure she's told you about. No. That's news to me. Oh, well, don't worry. Her and Sophie are fine. Uh, from what I gather, Tim, that's her, um... I know who Tim is. Well, he scared him off. Oh, well... Suppose I've got so much to thank him for then. You ready for that cup of tea? <laughs> That's if no one's knit your kettle. <laughs> you look busy. I'm trying to come up with ideas to raise money for charity. Oh, good on you. Right, what have you come up with so far? Oh, well, it's a thought that counts, isn't it? Hiya. Yeah. Should you be at work? Oh, they got behind with an order, so I offered to have a late lunch. Oh. Plays havoc with me blood sugar levels, but what can I do? I'm a very giving person. Oh, funny you should say that, actually. That's, um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about earlier. Well, what do you mean? I know some people think I don't care about Marcus, but I do. And I'm worried I'm going to lose him. So I was thinking, if he had a place around here, somewhere where he could stay, just until things calmed down, then we could get through this. Well, I suppose he could always stay with me. I mean, if it's just for a week or two. That's kind of what I had in mind. I'd feel terrible asking you, even if you are my favourite auntie. Mm. I'm your only auntie. But if that's OK, I'll text him now. That'd be brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, do you know what? I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think I might have a good idea. Is it that obvious? No, only because I know you. Well, do you know if you've seen anybody? <laughs> no, not since his wife died or so, Why? he said. Am I the only one doing any work round here today? Hey, this is important. What is it? My love life. Well, no lack of it. Your mum's quizzing me about a certain person. Carl, shh, 
keep your voice down in my ear. Dan, you want him to know you like him? Well, yes, of course I do. But what if he doesn't feel the same about me? Oh, come on. You're getting on pretty well earlier. I think you should go for it. What do you think? Me? Yeah, what do you think? I'm barking up the wrong tree. Well, it's only one way to find out, isn't there? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Well, I'll see if Table 7 wants anything first. Yeah, I know, Mrs. Hilden, it's completely my fault for double booking you, but I can fit you in any time tomorrow. Two o'clock? Yeah, that's great. All right, then. Bye-bye. Bye. I am so disappointed in you. Lying to a poor little old lady. Yeah, I know. I do feel a bit ashamed. Dirty, even. How dirty? Dirty. Like, really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, get a move on before your grand gets back. Get in there. I'll lock up. Oh. Oh. Mm. Hi. All right. Uh, Audrey about? Uh, no, she's not. Oh, only I want to book an appointment for the kids. Ah, oh, now's not a good time. Sorry. What, are we going to get it on or not? Dave? Dave? Seems to have mislaid your shirt, man. Yeah, I was just a bit hot. So I'll get it. Yeah. Got my text then? Yeah, you said it was urgent. It is? Oh, really? Why? What's up? You ran out of money and want me to buy you a pint? No, she's been trying to come up with a way to help you out. I don't need your help. Oh, so uh, you're happy then? I mean, nowhere to live, dusting on a mate's couch. I'll tell you what, Todd, why don't you just cut to the chase and tell me what this is about? Okay. What have I told you? I found you somewhere to live. Where? With me. You? Hmm. Oh, I am housebroken, you know. <laughs> Todd's explained the situation, and I've got a spare room, which you are welcome to stay in until you decide what you want to do. Look, I, I really appreciate the offer, Julie, but I, I, I don't think so. Why not? Think about it. At least this way, you will be near your friends and get to see Liam, even if it is from a distance. Oh, right, so this has nothing to do with what you want, then? No, it's not. I'm trying to help you out as a mate. No strings, no games, on the level. If it makes any difference, I could do with the company. And uh, I've just got the box set of Glee, seasons one to four. So, what do you say? OK, yeah, let's give it a go. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Rumi. <laughs> mm. Um, Liz, you'll be all right covering for us on Monday, won't you? Yeah, I don't see why not. Doing anything exciting? No, it's Carla's stepdad's funeral. Said I'd go and give her some support. Oh, well, have fun. Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. I didn't think, um, they were that close, Carla and her stepdad. No, they weren't. Why'd you ask? Just the past couple of times I've seen her, she hasn't seen herself. I was wondering what was wrong. Oh. Well, she just did her a bit harder than she expected, you know what I mean? Just brought back a lot of difficult memories and that, yeah. Right. Are you sure you're going to be OK looking after me? We'll be fine. You just go see if Sophie's back and we'll be here waiting. Cheers. Thank you. Hey, all right, Ty. Hi, Paul. Long time no see. Yeah, never mind. I'll give us a hug you. <laughs> Good to be home, eh? Well, not really, no. Why's that? I've been back two minutes and someone had robbed me back. I've just been given a statement to the police, but I don't reckon they'll be able to do anything. Well, did you get a look at who did it? Not really. By the time I realised what had happened, they'd gone. So, not only have I been robbed, I've got to share my house with Stella and Leanne and God knows who else until they find somewhere else. So that's me. How's things with you? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, business OK? Yeah, good. Look, we've got a room. You and Jack could stay with me, Fizz and the girls. Well, sure Fizz won't mind? No, it's a bit of company for Artu and Jack, and at least you know us. <laughs> you know, it's not a bad idea, that. I appreciate it, pal. <laughs> That's what mates are for. Right, I'll drop the van off in a bit. You can come and have a look at the room, see what you think. Well, cheers, pal. Good to have you back. So that's where my profits are going. I put some money in the till, asked Leanne. Yeah, she did. Any more thoughts about Lover Boy? Huh. What's the thing this is for? I'm trying to summon up enough nerve to talk to him. Go for it. You've got to lose. Your self respect. <laughs> Tell her. Yeah, go for it. Who dares wins and all that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, you better make up your mind. Be quick. 
Oh, stuff it. Oh, wish me luck. Um, you going? Well, things to do, people to see. <laughs> you busy? No, nothing planned. We just stay at home and watch me old man shouting at the TV, putting the world to rest. <laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, well, um, I'm finishing soon, and I wondered whether you um, might like to um, sort of do something together. <sighs> All right, I think I'll head back to the office for a quick one. Son, Liz, my love. Hey, enough of the lip. You're still my son. So I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Not about bright. Might be our manager early. <laughs> All right, Kev. Here yeah, do you coming back? Hey, bad news travels fast, <laughs> eh? Yeah, something like that. Hey, we'll have to have a catch with a pint soon, mate. Yeah, definitely. See you the shop. See you in a bit, mate. See you later. Yes, nice time, pal. What are you doing? Yeah, come here. Sit ah, in the rest. Watch me head. Watch yeah. me head. Get out of there. Ah, don't stop me. Oh, oh, watch me head. Look. Get off me head. Right. I warned you. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, I'll throw the police. Tell them I just caught someone trying to burgle your house. Oh, for goodness sake, ah. you idiot. He's not a burglar. What? He's my boyfriend. <laughs> Dad, meet him. <sighs> We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.